Afternoon, boys and girls. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. I wanted to check in today and go over that letter O. O. It's a very important letter. It's a vowel. It actually has two sounds. It'll go, sometimes it'll say a name and go, O. Oh. And then other times it'll go, Ah, as an octopus. But O oh, is one of the easiest and funnest letters to write. So let's practice writing it real quick. We're just going to go, it's just one big circle. So there's a capital O or a big O, and I'm sure you can draw it better than I can. And then a little O or a lowercase O, just like this. Okay. Now, as I said, O has two sounds because it's a vowel. Sometimes it'll say its name, O. Most of the time, though, it's going to have a short vowel sound. And it's going to go, ah. And the interesting thing, and before I ask any more, let me hear you say it. Ah. Okay, say it loud. Ah. Excellent. Say it softly. Ah. Excellent. Say it in your head. Very good. The thing I like about the letter O is, there are several animals that start with the O sound. Octopus. Otter. Ostrich. That's pretty interesting. Octopus, otter, and ostrich. That is pretty cool. That you have all these different animals that start with the letter O. But we also have, the letter O can also be very important because if we put it in the middle of a lot of words, like the word hot, hot, it's going to be hot outside. Then we can also put it in the middle of got, I have got to get a drink can also go in the middle of top. Top, T-O-P. You can go in the middle of that. Top, top can also become pop, P-O-P. So it's a very important letter, okay? So again, that letter O sound makes that ah sound, as in octopus, otter, and ostrich. So thank you, boys and girls, for hanging out with me again for a few minutes. It's good to see you again. I will see you guys later.